Hey, what's going on guys? Today we're going to be talking about the grindstones. Going to tell you exactly how they all work and I'm going to go ahead and rank them all as well because that's just what I do. Now grindstones are items of which you can equip onto your grinder and when the grinder is equipped clicking the guard and repair button at the exact same time will buff your weapon with a particular effect and you can rest at the stargazer to replenish this as well. Now to unlock this you actually have to talk to Vinini in the workshop at area 3 and once this area is cleared out you can actually talk to him back at the hotel crat and he will gift you the flame grindstone. Then after this you can talk to Pulcinella to which you can buy the electric blitz grindstone. Now unfortunately to acquire the rest of them you are going to need Vinini collection boxes. Getting one Vinini collection box and giving it to Pulcinella will allow you to buy the acid and indomitable grindstone. Getting two boxes unlocks the destruction and satisfaction grindstone and giving him a third box will let you purchase the durability and perfection grindstone. Now the grindstone effect duration does actually last 40 seconds for every single one except for the perfection grindstone which only lasts 15 seconds. Now via the P-Organ there are certain types of upgrades of which you can increase this duration at phase 2 and at phase 7 as well. And specking into either one of these will actually increase the duration by 5 seconds, obviously going into 2 will increase it by 10 seconds. Now unfortunately this is not the same for the Perfection Grindstone. Specking into one of these will only increase the duration by 2 seconds and obviously specking into both will increase it by 4 seconds. Now on the topic of the P-Organ, at phase 4 you actually can unlock a second Grindstone use, so you actually can use your Grindstone twice before dying or resting at another Stargazer. And if you did want to know for comparison, the Abrasives only last 30 seconds, but they do have a quicker cost, but they also are finite, whereas the Special Grindstone is an infinite use as long as you are resting at the Stargazer. Anyway, let's just get started in the ranking. Starting off at the bottom, we have the Durability Grindstone. Now, this thing actually does prevent your weapon from taking any type of durability damage, which does sound very good. However, there are literally other grindstones that just boost your damage just in general, and they last just as long, which obviously is going to be a lot more useful, because durability is still easily countered just by using the grinder itself, or certain types of P-Organ upgrades. Also, this thing doesn't even counteract the effects of Decay. Not sure why that's not a thing. And being that this is the last grindstone that you do unlock, it is very underpowered. Hopefully they do buff it to where they just make it last longer than the rest of the grindstones and actually do counteract the effects of Decay as well. Next up, I want to talk about the Satisfaction Grindstone. Now, this actually does add critical rate to your weapon. Now, if you don't know what critical rate is, it's a stat of which is only on a few different types of weapons in the game. Typically, you'll see a critical rate of 30. Now, what this means is that you have a 30% chance of actually procking a critical attack. Now, critical attacks are just like regular attacks, but they just do about 50% more damage. And you'll know you procked a critical attack because it looks different, it sounds different, and you'll see a bigger number. Now, with this grindstone in particular, it actually adds 30 critical rate to all of your weapons. So basically, the way to look at this grindstone is for 40 seconds, you have a 30% chance to do 50% more damage. Which honestly is not that great, especially when you compare it to the flame or the electric grindstone, because those will end up doing about 20 to 50% more damage, depending on what the enemy is actually weak to and it lasts 100% of the time, and it actually does proc a status effect as well. So in most cases, that would just be the better option. Now, the reason I say most cases is because if you actually pair this grindstone alongside weapons that already have critical rates, it'll obviously increase it to 60% chance of proccing that critical attack. So for things like the Trident of the Covenant or the Proof of Humanity, it is a very nice pairing, because obviously it just makes you proccing a critical attack a lot more reliable. And you can go ahead and pair it alongside the Assassin's Amulets, which actually does improve your critical damage. Now from my testing, it is about 25%. So you can actually make a pretty insane build with a Proof of Humanity using the Satisfaction Grindstone and the Assassin's Amulets, and basically you can be doing about 75% more damage 60% of the time, which is pretty good. Now obviously this does require an amulet slot, and actually is going to take up your grinder slot so it is going to be a very niche use hence it being lower on the list next up i want to talk about the indomitable grindstone now this actually boosts your guarding capabilities now basically what it actually does specifically is boost your damage reduction rate when guarding by plus 30 now that basically means that all smaller base weapons can have just as good as guard as the largest weapons in the game now this obviously is really good because when deflecting is as hard as it is you're going to be blocking more times than not and just being able to take less damage in that regard, meaning that you can actually have better guard regain. So a lot of that can actually end up getting back in terms of health and not just having that be chip damage instead. But the funny thing is, when you pair it alongside a weapon that has 70% or more damage reduction when guarding, it adds up to over 100%. So that means when you're blocking, you're not taking any damage, which is honestly just insane. So you can just sit there and just block an entire boss's combo and not have to take any damage not have to worry about getting it back in guard regain at all now obviously this still doesn't really block fury attacks which honestly i feel like it kind of should because for the most part it's not really combos that people are having a problem in terms of like deflecting it's more of like the insane fury attacks which is probably why people will end up preferring the perfection grindstone over this one as we'll get into because you don't really serve much of a benefit 
by actually using this grindstone because you're always going to be better off deflecting or just dodging in general because that means you have more destruction damage or you just end up having more stamina. Because having this be able to block fury damage wouldn't be too far-fetched because one, the perfection grindstone exists and there's literally a perk in the phase 7 of the P organ that literally lets you block fury attacks. Now, yes, this is actually tied to New Game Plus 2, but having it be part of a grindstone, I feel like that's kind of cool. They probably won't do it, but I can dream. But this definitely is a very good grindstone and definitely worth using, especially if you have something that's over 70% to guard. Next up, we have the Destruction Grindstone. Now, this actually does increase your weapon stagger damage by about 25%, which obviously is really nice because not only are you going to just outright stagger an enemy quicker, but you also can get the partial stagger even quicker as well. Now, in my opinion, I would still rather go with the damaging type of grindstones like Acid, Flame, and Electric because you end up just getting more damage and you end up proccing a status effect as well. And with things like Electric Shock, that actually does increase your stagger damage anyway. So this thing doesn't really have much of a use, but one thing you do have to keep in mind is certain types of weapons like the Salamander Dagger Electric Coil Stick and the Acidic Spear Blade. These things actually cannot be buffed with those certain types of grindstones. So actually using the Destruction Grindstone is actually going to be the best bet when paired with those type of weapons, which they tend to be very popular anyway. So this thing actually might get a lot of uses. But outside of those weapons and probably using it against the Door Guardian, I wouldn't really recommend using this much. Now next up, we want to talk about the Perfection Grindstone. Now this actually allows every single one of your blocks to be a perfect guard. So basically all you're going to do is hold onto the block button and you'll just end up deflecting everything without having to time it whatsoever. Which is great in this type of game, being that all these bosses, especially towards the end of the game, that have these ridiculous types of movesets and these insane fury attacks that require very good memorization or really good reaction speeds. So just having this grindstone can just trivialize a lot of those attacks. Now the major downside is that it only lasts 15 seconds, which compared to all the other grindstones that last 40 seconds, it is a very big difference. So the way to use this is that if there's a particular type of moveset that you're really struggling with, it gets a certain type of boss, I would just like wait for them to actually probably about to do that attack, then use this grindstone. And by the time that you actually get this grindstone, you actually might end up having two uses anyway. So you actually can get about 30 seconds worth of this perfect guarding, which is obviously just amazing in a boss fight. But I'm pretty sure everyone can think of at least one circumstance to where they wish they actually had this perfect grindstone active, because this thing is just that good. It's extremely low risk and very high reward. Now it's number one, we're going to have a three-way tie between the Acid Grindstone, Electric Blitz Grindstone, and the Flame Grindstone. Now in my opinion, I think the Electric Blitz Grindstone is the best one because I think Electric Shock is the best status effect, because not only will enemies take a lot more damage, but they'll end up being staggered a lot quicker as well. But the reason as to why there's a three-way tie between these is because depending on what enemy you are fighting against is going to be dependent on which one you actually do choose. If you're fighting humans, go with the Acid Grindstone. Fighting puppets, go with the Electric Blitz Grindstone. And if you're fighting carcasses, go with the Flame Grindstone. Because not only do these actually just add more damage to your weapon, but they also last the exact same 40 seconds as all the other grindstones, and they just add that status effect as well. And status effects in this game are extremely powerful. Once you end up proccing the status effects, you end up doing a lot more damage and you have like an added benefit as well, depending on what the status effect actually is. So this is probably to nobody's surprise, but yes, these ones are going to be the best ones. Now keep in mind, once again, if you have things like the Salamander Dagger or the Electric Coil Stick, those type of weapons cannot be buffed with these type of grindstones. So I would just recommend using the Destruction Grindstone instead. But everything else, use these definitely. Anyway, that pretty much concludes it for this one. As always, please do like and subscribe because I do have some more Liza P videos coming along the way. Might go over the top five best handles or top five best hilts. Let me know down in the comments which one you do want to see. And do follow me on Twitch as well because I am live every single day. Anyway, see you guys in the next one. Bye.